Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market, and I got a brand new market watch for you guys today. Uh, we are going to be discussing no promo this weekend. What's going on, and what's going on for the next week or so? Um, if you guys enjoy the video, uh, you don't have to drop a thumbs up. But I appreciate everybody who's been supporting recently. Thank you guys for the love. Yes. Um, so right now, guys, the market is extremely high. Um, I actually haven't been selling my cards. I They've been selling, right? But I'm listing my foot birthdays, which I had invested in last week. I think some of you guys invested with me. I'm listing them like way higher than what their bins are and they're selling. So I'm getting a lot of lazy sales on them and they may go a little bit higher next week, but I'm starting to kind of just take the coins on some of them because I've held them for like a week and I do think they can go higher, but I think I'm at a certain point where like I'm making a lot of coins on them right now. So I'm beginning to, to collect the bag as some of you guys would say on them, and, and take some money because they haven't been liquid in like a week and a half or two weeks, so I'm trying to get liquid. Um, that's what I'm doing. The carnivals, everything right now in the market is sky high. Um, so I wanted to make this video today uh, to you guys, and I wanted to tell you guys that today is a really good day, guys. If you haven't if you haven't sold anything or you're, you're trying to get liquid or get coins for Team of the Season, like today is a really good day to do it. Uh, this weekend... And, and maybe next week, but I'm not sure how good next week is going to be, guys. I think I think right now you have this opportunity to take some coins in a really, really high and inflated market. I think that's what we have right now. It's really inflated. It's really high. Um, and you have the opportunity to just kind of collect coins. Um, most things you guys look at or most things you guys have, like, should be pretty high in value. Most of it should be pretty up. Like, this Yoris is crazy high. He's actually 240. I probably sold too early. So he's like way higher than what I even just sold him for. Uh, even Immobile is, is, is a lot higher than what I sold him for. So all these cards, man, that I'm even selling right now are turning out to be higher uh, than what I even, you know, than I even am selling them for, which is just crazy if you think about it. So it's kind of starting to take all of that into consideration, boys, um, and, and look into taking some coins there. I started to clear out the club, uh, if you guys were wondering there. I've got a few cards left to sell, like this Quincy Promise. I don't really want to sell him, but I think I'm gonna sell him, and I'm gonna—I'm not taking a loss on him, but I think I'm gonna like slowly just kind of take the money on him. He's like 190 right now, which is on a weekly high, so I'm gonna go take the coins for him. Like I'll lose 3,000 coins, but again, like last week, because I bought that Quincy Promos on the first day, and, and I was able to minimize the loss of my son. I had a foot birthday son, and I was able to really minimize the loss there. Um, my son, I bought at 5:30, and I ended up actually being able to sell him for. Uh, like 475 which is really good compared to what I had originally paid for him. So I'm really happy about that um, We're gonna be looking through a lot of different parts of the market today guys So just hang on tight, but I wanted to kind of walk you guys through where I'm at Like what I'm kind of recommending and 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 the future uh, And well really the future of the market. I think this week is gonna be good But again, I'm Champions League is back on this week, right? And you guys know what Champions League back on means uh, What it means guys is that people are gonna lose coins Um the market has been just continuing to grab coins uh, for the last few weeks. Now, I think there's a shot at a promo next Friday. I think that's a big shot in the dark. I don't think we're necessarily going to get one, but I think it's possible. And I think you guys shouldn't, shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't expect it to not happen. I think you should expect the promo next Friday unless there's not a loading screen. Now, to counter that point, what EA could do instead of a promo next Friday uh, is they could drop another kind of day where you just get a ton of moments cards. They could also do that. Now, I could see that as well. Obviously, yesterday, guys, we got a ton of SBCs uh, for the moments, and I believe the high rate has really, really started to go up. I'm going to be interested to see if they drop more content today or if today's a day off, um, because yesterday they literally dropped six icons, which is nuts. Like, they dropped so many. Um, so is it going to be this thing where they do this now every Friday to try to get these out? Like, is this EA's way of bringing content before team of the season i'm not sure but if we it looks like you can project that we'll get like one banger of an icon every friday and then we'll get a few others that are like decent cards but not like amazing i guess that's to me that's what i see and that's that's what i'm predicting so not really sure full on if that's going to be the trend with ea but looks like it's one that you could follow uh potentially to knowing if ea is going to drop anything big or not and guys look a lot of these cards that I had talked about with you guys for rewards and, and holding on for a few extra days. If you did that, you're going to make a lot of coins. Um, a lot of these cards that 
were up at rewards, now are even more up. And and it's all about that like last second, can you squeeze that extra 10K hold? And a lot of these guys uh, definitely allowed you to do that, um, which is good because I had been watching the trend for a lot, for the last few weeks. Like, C. Van Dyke, he was 610 at rewards. Now he's 640, right? Lewandowski went to that 550. He went to that extra step. I've been watching this trend for a few weeks, guys, of like watching these cards and then seeing them go up just a little bit more on Friday nights and Saturdays. And I was always like so mad that I wasn't, I was getting mad that I wasn't holding because I would see the prices of the cards and I would be like, dude, why am I not holding these cards? Like I was genuinely like, these cards in the extra like few hours were going so much higher. And I was at, I was so mad at myself in the past few weeks for like not holding on to that card. So that extra squeeze of profit. So now they are starting to go up a little bit more, which is really good. Um, thank God, because we want them to go up more, but um, yeah, no, I think it's a trend that we'll be able to follow guys for the next few weeks. Like I really do. Now, obviously this only works in a stable market. So we don't know if we're getting a promo in the near future. Like we don't know how that's all going to go down. So if we get, if we're getting a promo in the near future, guys, obviously holding cards is not a good move because you want to sell when people are buying from weekly rewards and then you want to get out. That's how it goes, man. When there's a promo on like, you know, a looming, that's, that's, that's the key guys. You get out, man. Like that's it, that's all it is, dudes. You got to get out. So we're gonna have to see going forward, like how EA is doing any of that. What are the promos gonna be? There was one promo that was added into the database. Um, it's called Mashup, and that was added in like a few weeks ago. I'm not really sure if that's gonna be a promo. I don't really know. I thought that was kind of a part of something the other week, but hey, maybe it's gonna be a promo in the future. I don't know. This company is very hard to read, guys, and I don't know what they're doing for promos. Um, this weekend is the, obviously the, uh, the foot champions cup right now. So all those guys, the pro players are now playing, uh, in a cup. So you're not going to expect really a promo this weekend. I, I, at least I don't see a promo this weekend, but, um, in terms of like next weekend potentials and things like that. Yeah, it's possible. Um, it is possible guys, because they're, they're they want to make money and, and they know that they know, they know right now, guys, that the team of the season clearly is not going to be that early. So we do have a little bit of time to team of the season. So they know they've got to stretch it somehow. And I don't know how they're going to stretch it. I really don't know. It's going to be this constant thing of, okay, what can EA draft up overnight? Uh, you know, to like bring out a promo or something. It's it's amazing to watch because some of the promos we get, I'm sitting there like, bro, what is this? Um, as long as EA keeps dropping icons, man, and nobody in the community is going to be mad. They just have to keep releasing icons. And the price points for the icons yesterday, I wanted to talk about this, were fantastic. EA, you guys killed it on the price points yesterday. I know you guys think Cruyff is a little bit expensive, but I think EA did a really good job with the price points. The only thing, guys, that they need to continue to work on is the the upgrade price points. I don't understand it. It's like, clearly they believe that that's the right way to go about it, but I don't understand why they think that. Because, like, to me, it just makes zero sense. I don't know what EA is thinking about those uh, upgrade SBCs. It does not make any, like, literally, it does not make any sense. Why are people having to pay double for a car? I just don't get it. They're having to pay double the price, which to me is just brain dead. I don't get it. You know, and, and the thing is that, like, it's come to the point now where when those upgrade SBCs come out, right, you have one of those cards, you want to upgrade it. It is better to hold your card and submit that into another SBC because that one specific SBC is so not worth it. That should never be a thing. You should you should be paying 200 depending on the card. You should be paying 200 to a little bit more per card. All right, for, for those upgrade SBCs because otherwise it's a scam. It really is, guys. It's a scam otherwise. And and that's so that's the thing that really bothers me because it just feels like EA is scamming people, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like when EA does this I don't like when they do the shenanigans, man, when they cuz there's a lot of people in foot guys, like this is another thing that I want to talk about. It's a lot of people in foot that just don't really like get price points and things like that and the casual users. So they go and they get trapped in these SBCs, guys. They're doing SBCs all day, right? And then they're finally out of coins and they're like, how do I make coins? And then they get stuck in the, the, the system of foot champions, right? And they get stuck in trying to grind out coins and they don't know how to make coins. And it's just like this revolving mess, really. It's this revolving mess. So... I get a little bit mad sometimes when EA, I feel like, takes advantage of some of their audience, not audience, but like, I guess maybe user base. Like, I do get annoyed at times uh, when EA does stuff like that, man. It, it makes me mad. It really does, dude, because they know they know how much they can exploit certain people uh, that play their game, which to me is just 
it's not cool, dude. It's it's just not cool. So that's where I stand on that. And I always feel like I'm pretty good at seeing that. So I like to call it out when I do see it. And I'm seeing EA do it too much recently. However, the price points, guys, for yesterday's SBCs were fantastic, man. They were fantastic. Like, the fact that I want to walk you guys through it because a lot of us are going to be doing those upgrade packs during Team of the Season. Bobby Moore... Um, Bobby Moore, I think they released Loudrup, all those guys, you guys are going to literally be able to get for free during Team of the Season. I'm telling you guys right now, they're going to be so damn cheap um, during Team of the Season for a lot of you guys. So I would be pumped if I saw the SBCs from yesterday because there's a lot to love about it. Um, a lot to love. A lot to love. So that's that's where I originally saw it and I was like very happy. What I'm going to do, I'm bidding on two moments right now. I'm going to take a look at this. So this Bobby Moore is going to be interesting. He's got two bids on him. Um... I think he's been selling at like, um, he's up at 690 right now. I think he's been selling at like 680. So I think I'm gonna try to get him under like 640. And then I don't know how much Deco has been selling for. There's an open bid Pele. I might, I might keep recording if we, if we can hop on this Pele. Uh, Deco has been probably like, I think Deco has been like 680, 670. I'm going to see if we get this Pele, man. I'm going to bid like probably up to seven mil. I don't, I haven't, the problem with Pele guys is I haven't seen him sell uh over eight mil that's my only that's my only worry with him I, price like pr like price wise he's been over that he's been over that price but i haven't really seen him sell over eight mil i've seen him sell at like eight three i don't even think i've seen him sell at eight three much less the problem but now that we're liquid guys and we do have some more coins uh we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be trading with i'm trading with more icons and more top tier cards because now i'm able to with the coin amount i have i'm wondering if someone's on this bid that bobby moore is looking tasty I don't think we're gonna get that. There's no way that I'm gonna get this deal. That Bobby Moore is way too good of a deal for me to for no one to bid on that. Unless right now, if there's like Premier League on and yeah, exactly. Sometimes you can get some deals on Saturday mornings, guys, on bid. There's not a lot of people bidding. Um, that's the concept of it. it doesn't always follow through. Um, I'll tell you this. You know what's actually funny? Because like just talking about the player that I'm bidding on right now. Bobby Moore actually is really good. I don't know if any of you guys have tried him, but he is fantastic. And I, I really am like not good against this card uh, when I play against him. He's really good. Um, so yeah, and you guys also, just to tell you guys, you guys have to be careful when you bid on these cards, man. Some of these cards, because they have the high price ranges, a lot of the time, it's sad, but coin sellers are on these cards, man. So you have to be careful when you guys are bidding on these cards because I have overbid uh, before. Not recently, but I have overbid before and I have lost so many coins because what they do is they run you up kind of, right? They run you up a bit and then they put the big bid and then you get screwed, man. So you guys have to be careful when you guys are bidding on these cards because it is freaking scary at times. Also, there's this glitch with bidding. I think it still exists where the bid carries over and it's really bad. Like I was bidding on, I think Amaris a few weeks ago and I was just trading, right? Like I was just trading on open bids and things like that. And my bid like carried over to the next card and I ended up overpaying and it was so freaking sad, dude. So make sure you guys are watching your bids for sure when you guys are bidding. I'm gonna be interested to see if we can win that deco. No, nah, he's gonna bid on that deco, surely, right? 613. Bro, there's no way. Dude, these guys are playing me right now, guys. I'm telling you. Two two bids, right? Yeah, he bid on that. Come on, guys, give me the I wanna win one of these for the video, dude. I've been trading these cards recently, the moments, and they're a ton of fun. A ton of fun. A ton of fun to trade these cards. It just it's giving me a new like excitement to trade some cards man i don't know it's nothing crazy but they're fun man i like the ones that are like in the range of 600 to like 1.5 it feels like they fluctuate a lot which is always nice um the tax at this rate right here is like thirty thousand coins so for me both these guys when they're selling up at 700 i'd want to win these guys like under 640 to to get a good deal i don't even i think i'm wondering if this is the same dude that i'm bidding against he's bidding like very much at the same time we've also got a pele coming up guys uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to probably bid this card up to 7.5. Now, the problem with this card is that a lot of people always wait for this card, right? Like a lot of people are sitting there waiting for this bid. A lot of the time, that's how people win that ballet card. They wait for that bid and then they go, right? So I'm a little worried about that bid because I feel like there's going to be a lot of pros and people on that bid. I'm getting so nervous every time I have that deco because I'm trying to not see the buy nows. It's so freaking scary, man. All right, so we've got this Pele coming up. 6.7 right now. Somebody put a bid. Um, we're going to continue to watch it. This guy keeps letting me kind of win like 15 seconds and then he goes off. I'm not sure if he's on the companion app or if he just likes to slow bid. But you guys can see the bidding technique that I'm doing is I'm just kind of repeatedly bidding against him. 
um, and that's what I always use, man, to like, to like bid. I just go crazy with my bids, dude. I, I go really fast. I make sure nobody can win it. So we do win Deco, guys, and Deco's been selling. Honestly, Deco in the week has been selling at like 6.30, but this weekend he's been a little bit higher. So hopefully at 6.22, we can sell him and make some profit. This Pele is coming up right here. We're going to see how much we can go on this Pele. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if he, if that guy lets me go 7.5 or less. That's going to be the... That's going to be the true selling point to see if that guy goes 7, 7.5 or less. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bid on him. Uh, let's see where the bid is. Where's the bid? Oh, man, dude. They're, these guys are... Nah, there's a lot of guys on this, man. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get this Pelé, guys. Um, I think this is probably a guy who really wants it for the team. Let's see. Or a trader. 7.51. How much is the tax there? The thing is, guys, I've not seen the card sell over 8 mil. That's why I don't want to win this card. I, I, uh, it's a weird one, dude. I'm going to see where the bid goes and just kind of watch it. And we win the Bobby Moore deal. That's a pretty good deal, though, guys. I'm happy about the Bobby Moore, man. That's a good deal. 636. Bids are OP for these moments, man. I'm telling you guys. The bids are, the bids are what's up with these cards. Sometimes the bids are good, but I've gotten a lot of deals on bid with these guys. So I found these to be really OP. So we're going to see if we get two quick flips there. But damn, dude, how, how, damn, Pele 7-7. Seven, seven. I see, at this rate, I don't think there's profit. The tax is 400K. You've got to get over eight. Yeah, I don't think there's profit in those guys. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of stand clear of that. I do not think there's money in those cards. So we're going to sit it out, guys. We're going to sit that Pele out. We're going to see where it goes. Thank you guys for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. Um, all the support recently. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. See you guys in the video soon. Peace.